in your suggested zoning conditions, I didn't see anything about using renewable energy. Is that correct? Um, there is no additional uh, condition with regard to renewable energy, no. We, we try to push uh, renewable energy, and I did notice that on your example places, there wasn't uh, any solar PV on them. Um, but sure. I, I know, how, how many megawatts are you using power-wise? We've, we've submitted for 300, 300 megawatts. I'm sorry? 300 megawatts 300 is what we've submitted for. So to answer your renewable question, the, the power is purchased by the end user, whomever that may end up being. They, they go in and have the power purchase agreement with the utility. Um, most of the large data center users that would be interested in this site, um, they all have conditions within their own operational parameters to maximize use of uh, renewable uh, power. So whether it be the Microsofts or Googles or whoever, uh, if you look at their operational requirements, they're the ones that are out there paying for and buying up all the renewable power throughout the country um, and financing the solar fields and the wind turbines and everything else. So they have a large commitment um, within their own operational parameters uh, to maximize the use of renewable power. So it's, you're it's, not it's, proposing to build it with solar? So we're not, uh, you'll, you won't find generally, never speak in absolutes, but uh, no one wants to put solar panels on top of their data centers. Um, there's a billion dollars worth of equipment below there. Um, the infrastructure involved, the penetrations throughout the roofs, everything that's involved in supporting that solar on a roof, which is what everyone always asks. Um, it just isn't a thing for, for a data center. There's too much underneath it. Um, now, <clears throat> putting s solar either elsewhere on site or purchasing land for an offset solar, those are all things that come into to play, but putting solar on a roof just it's it's a non-starter.